Morning everyone. We are on the compost hunt trail for the perfect bit of compost now. Due to all the kind of regulations and all this about peat, you've got to have peat free, peat's banned. This is my journey and I might just have found the perfect one. So for a number of years now, I've used the Clover, which is a pure peat based compost and You've got to, you know, you've got to now kind of sort yourself out and get a proper, like, non-peat based compost. And peat's getting banned, you know, it's good, it's not good for the environment and everything like that. And it's just getting up to speed. I have created, I've got some compost bins up there. I've made my own compost. I've got about six to eight bags this year ready to go for homemade compost. But for planting seeds on and, you know, germination of seeds I need some reasonably good compost like I say I might have found the, the right one at the moment I've got a few bags let me just see <clears throat> right this was bought from B&M bargains home bargain should I say it is Groshua's multi-purpose all-purpose compost what I didn't know and I fell into the trap is peat reduced now i just never and this is a you know what i mean read the labels read the labels because that got me you know when i it was only when i got it home and i thought oh damn it i'm trying to avoid it and it's it's got it on now i've never seen that before you know but they're still selling it so i've also got a bag of the miracle grow this is the premium moisture control especially compost for pots, baskets, you know, it's, just, it's a multi-purpose compost, but that one's there as well. And let me just show you my special one. There we go. This is called You Grow. Environment Agency approved, 100% peat free. I've checked the label, multi-purpose compost. Now, the good thing about this is it's an all-rounder fantastic soil improver so you can just put it on your garden bed for soil and you can use it as like a, a compost like a multi-purpose compost vegetables it's all got you know and it's made in Cumbria not that far from me and it's made from sheep muck wool sawdust and farmers expertise there you go let me just show you what it looks like There you go. So already, you know, you, you don't really have to sieve it. It's lovely and broken down texture. Now, I was expecting something totally different when I read the word, you know, like sheep wool in it. There's no like nasty smells or anything like that, neither. There is bits in, you know, because I found this, I've, I've already, so there is, you know, you do get the odd, bogus thing in there but on general 90% of it's just it's ready to go this stuff and it feels you know it's got that lovely kind of texture but you know there's only the proof in the pudding this is planted these are my calabrese and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sow another batch in normal compost and then we'll, we'll see how they go but I also want to onions as well so these are a second sowing of my red burgundy onions i did these just in case with the high the, you know the cold frosts they were sown on the 24th of january and i'm going to use them in and i'm not that big of a fan of the 60 cell charlie dowden one it's a little bit you've got to be on the ball with it but i'm going to use it now because i've got quite a number there and i'm using this compost so we'll just get that and like I say, I'm not even sieving this. Yeah, there's some, it's hard, actually hard to find. There's some big chunks in there, but the majority is lovely fine till. I'm just gonna show you how, cause it's quite a big root system and these are little holes. What I'm gonna do is put, put some more of these ones in a bigger tray. But if you've got a small hole, just gonna show you how to put your seed, put it down. Can you see and then just twizzle it just turn it and then just prod it in with your little dibber 
and it gets in lovely to make it easier as well to separate i give them a good wet first so then they just kind of pull pull apart so i'm just going to give them a little drink of water from the bottom up and we'll leave them for a little bit what i want to do is the test so i'm going to use in these pots so this is already used the U grow compost and what i want to do now these are the same plants these are my marathon which hopefully will be fantastic round about july so do i use i've got three bags of this i think i'll use the premium because that's actually it's almost cheating again with the peat so that hasn't got peat in so i'll use that see what that's like so let's just see what the premium of miracle grows like so textured wise it's a bit more bitty if, if that's the one for this i guess there's all sorts of different things in now they look like there's fertilizer in there already i guess with a premium quality you will have anyway let's get me tray and see what it's like So I'll label them up. This is the marathons. So they're both sown on the 24th of February. This is the Miracle Grower. And this is the U Grower. Now what I'm gonna do straight away is sow some more of the, these are my lettuce, which I'm gonna sow. And I'm gonna do that in, the, in this U Grower. And I'm also doing, you don't have to watch this, but I'm gonna do my igloo cauliflowers, my first ones, batch of the season. I'm putting them in there and I'm also I'm going all in with it I'm going to sow with a mixture of vermiculite my tomato seeds so one thing about this is and I'll put a link on the description on the website I got this from a garden center a local garden center they might have it I'm not sure like I say it's a local Cumbrian when you go on the garden on the actual website to buy it you go through the order and I think it's about eight pound a bag it's I guess to deliver it but it's cash on delivery which is a little bit you know it's all like a digital website all going through like a digital payment system but then it's just you click a button cash on delivery so they're obviously a brand new company are just starting out so good luck to them I'm trying them so we'll see how it goes with these just keep watching keep subscribing and then or subscribe once and then you'll find out how it goes look after yourself take good care